Hey guys, so I have like a DIY video coming at you today and I hope that everything works out. I picked up a lot of things. If you saw my haul that I've previously posted, you have an idea of everything that I picked up for it and I got this idea off Pinterest for one of them, actually for two of them. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is repaint this pumpkin. So I picked up this pumpkin from Goodwill, like in the middle of summer and I see that it's, it looks like someone already painted it this white because like the white's flaking off. So that's not good. I hope that when I paint it, it doesn't flake off anymore. But the reason that I'm painting it is it has, which you guys are, aren't gonna really be able to see it because it's just whiting it out. But it has like a bunch of scuffs and dirty marks and like yellow marks all over it. And I already have a white pumpkin sitting on my table and I'm gonna paint this one the green mossy color that I picked up for last Saturday's DIYs. So I'm gonna paint her. I'm also going to make a garland for my dining room and I'm also going to make some interesting fall a flower arrangement. So stay tuned for that. But first I think I'm gonna paint this baby so it has some ample time to dry and uh let's flip to that for this first coat to dry on my pumpkin. I also went ahead and colored or painted a couple of these styrofoam balls from the Dollar Tree. They came in a bag like this. So I took the two biggest balls and I painted them green. I left a little bit ungreen kind of on the back because that's gonna be down in the flower. And then I also painted a smaller one. I'm not sure how the small one's gonna work out, but Basically, you're gonna take an X-Acto knife after you have painted them green, and you're gonna start to carve away, and you want it to kind of end up looking like a little Pac-Man when you're done. You'll be able to see it a lot better once I have them all painted the proper colors. Um, and then you're gonna paint this inside the pink color. So, do that, and then uh, I'll get back with you guys. But, I picked up this brush set from the Dollar Tree and it came with like a bunch of them. At Michael's they have one of these for a dollar, like you get this one brush for a dollar, but I got like a handful of them. They're not bad. Um, they painted the pumpkin great. The styrofoam I think it's just like a little bit more, like it sucks up the paint. So I was nervous the pumpkin was gonna take all my paint, so that's why I painted the styrofoams really quick before then, but um, I'm just gonna keep letting my styrofoam stuff dry and then I'll show me like whittling away at the green ones, but I tried this one first so I didn't mess up the ones that I had painted just to make sure um, I could do it and made sure I understand what I wanted it to look like. So let's start whittling. one looks like this and then I kind of did like different so this one I really like carved out inside of it if you can tell and I made it more of like a mouth and then this one I tried making it like a little bit more wide and not carved out so now what I'm gonna do is take a paintbrush and I'm gonna paint the insides of those pink um, so they look like the inside of a mouth pretty much. Also, the Dollar Tree bag that I got that has all these in them, they have all different sizes. So this is like the largest size and this one's the smaller one. So I'm gonna use this one to go in and try to paint this pink. And then I also grabbed an old paintbrush that I have that has some Mod Podge on it. So it's like really hard. That way I can try to get like a hard pink line around the opening of the mouth. So that is what I'm going to try to work on now and I'm using the B color um, this is just acrylic paint and pink bliss I've got white chalkboard paint too just in case but the green paint that I'm using is the acrylic by folk art 
and it's in the color mossy meadow i really like that one so now let's do the insides of the mouths and then we can start putting it together So for these, I ended up hollowing even more like inside the mouth out. So it kind of like gave it a throat, if that makes sense. So I went kind of like deep into the ball after I made it look like a Pac-Man. So now I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to paint my pumpkin again one more time. And then I'm going to put these plants, these eating plants together. And I'm really happy with actually how these styrofoam balls turned out. So. So this is what they should look like after you have them painted. And then my next step was to grab my toothpicks, paint the tips of them white, and then I cut off the tips with enough area to shove it down into the mouth of the plant. And if they seem like they're wobbly or trying to come out, you can always add a dab of hot glue to it and then press them in. So once you have all the teeth in, they should end up looking like this. You can do as many teeth as you want or not as many, it's up to you. And then you're going to flip them over and add hot glue to the very back of them. Open up your flower and stick it down in the center with it pointing straight up. I ended up cutting my flowers out of the bouquet so they were by themselves on each stem and I put three together because I just felt like five was way too much and I just added them in at all different heights and kind of shaped them to look crazy and flesh eating but anyhow this is how mine turned out I'm really happy with how they look. I finished painting my pumpkin. So it's all done and I kind of like there's some areas where you can like see the white through it. I like that it's not just like a hard solid color. So yay she's done. Venus fly trap thing is done. Now it's time to make our garland. So we're going to make this pumpkin garland out of yarn. So I picked up this yarn from Michaels and I got you also need the jute twine from over in the automotive section of the Dollar Tree um, be careful because sometimes around the holidays they start selling these individually for a dollar but you can get three for a dollar if you just like go around the corner to the men's section and then you're just going to need pipe cleaners which I picked up these pipe cleaners from the craft section of the Dollar Tree so pretty much everything in this is super inexpensive and if I know the Dollar Tree was selling yarn for a while, so if you picked up any yarn, then this is a whole Dollar Tree thing. So now I'm gonna show you how to make these cute little yarn pumpkins. So you wanna start out, you're gonna take your four fingers, loop this down, and then you're just gonna go around town. And you kinda want to make sure your fingers are like spread out a little bit. You don't want it like cutting off your circulation. And you're just going to loop a decent amount because you want like a pretty fat pumpkin. You don't want it too thin. And this needs to go like all the way around if you get what I'm saying. Um, my next time that I make this, I'll actually count how many times I go around because I know someone's gonna ask. So you wanna go ahead and cut it, leaving a decent amount. So loop underneath, up your palm. And then you're going to pull this through and then you're going to go in between these fingers and slide this to the edge of your fingers. You don't want to slide it all the way off and you're going to make sure to pull this pretty tight and you're going to go back in between the base of these fingers back here. Uh, grab it and bring it around. And like I said, you're going to want to pull this 
pretty tight and try to make sure that when you pull this, that it's in the middle. Otherwise you're gonna have a lopsided pumpkin. So go ahead and slide it off your hand carefully. And you're gonna pull it tight. then you have a pumpkin. So now you want to take about a third of a pipe cleaner and you're going to slide it underneath your loop you just made on the top. There we go. So you're going to pull it through that and then for the rest of this I take it and go up I go ahead and pull like my pumpkin twine up and I do a little bit of wrapping at the base of the pipe cleaner and then I can cut off extra and then I go in between and then this is when you're going to want to add it onto your twine. So take your twine and lay it in between the V of the pipe cleaners and then Kind of twist your pipe cleaners together and then you can bring them back down so they point back down into the pumpkin and then you just kind of fluff your pumpkin out so you have pumpkin garland so now i'm just going to continue to make these and i'm going to make mine pretty decently big so it's going to go on my mirror in my dining room i'll show you guys my final product when i'm done I figured out an easier way to do it if you have trouble getting the yarn back in between your fingers. So I also looped mine 85 times and then I looped it around and like tied it into a pom-pom. But if you want, you can do this, loop it around your hand, and then have little tinier pieces of yarn cut. So let's say, I'll use this piece as an example. So take this on your hand like this, but slide it off and make sure that you're pinching the middle. So like right here. So if you slide it to the end of your fingers and you take this piece of yarn and you loop it around like this, slide your fingers out, but keep this pinched. And then you take your extra piece of yarn and you bring it around and then tie that so it then creates the little middle thing and then you just puff it out like a pom-pom and then you add your green stem and that's pretty much it this was my last little bit of the yarn so unless you plan to make like a small um, garland I'd get the size that I got which is 170 yards I really like the color of this one too. So this, and I also zigzagged the garland. So I'll show you, hold on, let me fix it. And then I'll show you that way. I made sure that they were all evenly um, distanced from each other. Okay, so I made sure there was a little bit of extra string at the beginning. So I put one here and then I zigzagged the like twine back and forth so they'd all be evenly spaced out but i think they turned out freaking cute i really i hung these up here and i made a lot more than I thought I did. So it was gonna like hang down really low and I know this little fella would love to play with these and tear them apart. So I cut it short and I did 
six, seven pumpkins up on here. And then I took the rest of them and I kind of strung them over here in the tree. So now I've got a little pumpkin tree and I also have some ornaments I can put on this that um, closer to Halloween that are like eyeballs and stuff. So that'll look cute. So I just got all of my pumpkins together and kind of just put it all up on the table with some candles in between it and some garland that has pine cones and smaller pumpkins and like a vine. And then I threw some of my Dollar Tree plates up here. I think it looks cute. The cats are like literally, what the heck, mom? This is my pumpkin that I repainted and I think it looks so good now. I love it. If you guys liked these DIYs and let me know if you guys try them out. You can always tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see them. So I just wanted to go back over. It only cost $5 to make the Venus flytrap plants and that's if you don't have the paint already. If you already have the paint, then you just have to buy the flowers, the styrofoam balls, and the toothpicks. And then the pumpkin garland, if you go and buy the same yarn that I did and use the 40% off coupon, the yarn is only $2.49 and then you just need the brown twine and the pipe cleaners so that's like also four dollars so these are really inexpensive little diys and i think they turned out pretty freaking cute so let me know what you think down below and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys